Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother, scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazakai from the Servants of Yahweh, where Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much, this is a, this is just a response from a comment that I got on on my uh, channel. And this particular individual told me to be careful what I'm teaching. Now, first of all, I just went on your channel because the lesson that I did was Joseph was the biological father of the Messiah. And the individual, he don't have no works on his channel. He's just, his channel is completely blank. He don't teach the ministry. He don't do anything. So to you dudes out there, I don't know if you're an Israelite or what, but you dudes out there that don't have no works, you don't you don't go on the highways and byways and teach. You don't show yourself worthy in the eyes of the Lord. You just don't do shit, but you just sit on YouTube and you just sit on social media talking shit all day. But when we go on your channels, you guys don't have no works. You guys are instructing us and telling us on how we need to teach the word, how we need to be careful, how we speaking. We need to not be cussing. We need to not to be doing this, doing that. You guys need to shut the fuck up out there. If you're not teaching, don't say shit on my channel. All right? Don't say shit on my channel. Now, this is a lesson to that individual, and you know who you are. So, you need to read the scriptures. You have a, 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 a Roman Catholic doctrine mindset. No man has no other beginning of birth. Not even the Messiah. No other man has a different beginning of birth all right we read that in wisdom of solomon the seventh chapter so obviously you just watched my title and you didn't watch the lesson you guys out there needs to need to watch before you just come and just start making posts watch the video to get an understanding you just look at my title and you guys just make your post stop fucking doing that this is romans one and three after this no more bullshit romans one and three it says concerning his son Right? Concerning his son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord, right? Yahweh Shai, the Messiah, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh. Because who is the seed of David? All right? Who was the seed of David? Joseph was of the, of the seed of David, right? Joseph was the biological um, father of Yahweh Shai, the Messiah. All right? And when you go into me that word seed, which we're going to get out right now, right? We're going to get that out. When you go to seed, seed, it says what? A man's semen. You see that? A man's semen. There's no other beginning of birth. There's no other way of beginning of birth. There's no other birth. There's no other way you can be born into the world but through sex. That's common sense. You thinking of that goddamn angelic birth, the virgin birth. You're fucking going off with that. That's false doctrine. If you believe in the virgin birth, your ass is fucking bugged out. There's no other way you could be born in the earth. The Messiah was born the same way we was born. Get that through your fucking head. There's no other way that a person else can be born. Think about it. There's no other way that anybody else can be born in the earth. How how does how does how is, how is a woman ever to how is a woman able to bear children? Let's 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 for you dumb people out there think. When you was, how the fuck was you born? Your your mom just fucking masturbated and she just automatically just added you? No. She she had intimacy with another man for you to be born. The Messiah was born the same fucking way. There's no other way he was born. He was born through the seed of a man. It's right here. Romans 1 and 3. Talking about the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, who you guys call Jesus Christ, but his true name is Yahweh Shai. He was born the same way I was born. The elders and apostles of Great Millstone was born. How all of us of the earth, all of us of the, world, of the world was born through the seed of a man. Our fathers had sex with that woman and we were born. It's common sense. If you believe in a virgin birth, your ass is fucking bugged out. That's Roman Catholic talk doctrine, bro. This is Romans 1 and 3. Concerning his son, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. He was born just like how any other man on the earth was born through the seed of his father and his mother. Right. He slept. Uh, Joseph slept with Mary and, and she had she got pregnant and she had Yahweh Shai. She had the Messiah. 
The virgin birth is unbiblical. There's, the virgin birth is unbiblical. There's no virgin birth. Get that shit out of your head. That shit will fuck you up. It will bug your ass out. Let's read it again. Romans 1 and 3. Concerning his son, Yahweh Hamashiach, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. He was born just like any other man on the earth was born. The Messiah was born the same way, just like how any of us was born. Seed. See? And when you go to seed, look, look at, look at the, look at the, look at the, it says seed definitions. Because you, he, he, the dude said, be careful, the dude that commented on my comment, bro, I don't know what his name was. He said, be careful what I'm teaching. And it was, there's no sex. Okay, dumbass. When you go to the seed, the word seed right here, you, seed. Can, you can look this up. This is Google. If you see, you see the Google logo on the top of the corner, right? You see the little G, the colorful G in the corner. Go on Google, put in seed. There's seed right there in Romans 1 and 3. It's in the Bible, right? It says seed. Look at this. It says see all definitions. See, it says bontany, bon sex, because you said there's no sex. But why did the scripture say right here? It says Romans 1 and 3 concerning his son, Hamashiach Yahushai, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. So he was born just like how any one of us was born, how I was born, how you was born. Let's look at this. Let's look at this up. Let's look at this up, right? Let's look this up. Sex. Because you, you said there's no sex. You comment on my comment board said there's no sex. But why does Romans 3, Romans 1 and 3 says seed there? And when you look up seed, seed, it says sex right there. A man's semen. Sperm. Sperm. Semen, right? Right? Semen. A male... The male reproductive fluid containing sperm, sperm, spermatosa in, in suspension. See? A man's semen. So all of us was born through what? Our parents, right? Our mother having sex with that man and, and a child is being born. She gets pregnant. Through what? Through a man's semen. A man's sperm. He's putting his seed in a woman. In a woman's womb. And she produces what? She bears children. How does a woman bear children? It's right there, right there in blue lettering, sex. The Messiah was born, the Messiah was born, right, by his mother and father having in in intimacy. She, Joseph has sex with Mary, and she buried him, Yahweh Shai. If you can't understand that, then that's your problem. That ain't got nothing to do with me. That's just you. You don't have to understand it. You people have that Christianity 501c3 mindset, and y'all got to come out of that shit, man. There's no virgin birth. There's no Trinity and there's no virgin birth. That's all Roman Catholic doctrine. Look it up. You don't have to believe what I'm saying. Look that shit up. The shit I say in this video, look up. Look up. Put in, is the virgin birth unbiblical? Look up, uh, 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 is the Trinity unbiblical? Look, look up shit. Y'all don't look up shit. Y'all just see a video and see a title and comment. No, look shit up. Y'all got to start looking shit up. It's common sense. Look shit up, bro. Study. Y'all don't look up nothing. This is why I start to see why the elders of Great Millstone be getting pissed off at individuals because they're quick to make a comment. They're quick to be up against the ministry, but they don't do no researching. They don't do no studying. They don't really fully understand nothing. You just live off of the white man and everything and what he tells you is right when he's fucking wrong. You believe everything your oppressor tells you because your oppressor fucking blinding the fuck out of y'all with that. There's no virgin birth, man. Y'all got to get the fuck out of that shit. That shit going. This is why the scriptures say you guys are going to be destroyed out there. I'm going to read this again slowly for people. I'm going to read this again slowly for people. Look through, listen through the video of what I'm saying. Don't look at my title and just comment. Listen to the video and fully get an understanding. If you're not going to get it, don't watch my video. If you're going to disagree with my video, do not comment. I'm going to put that as my title. If you're not going to study the ministry, stay off of my channel. If you're, if you're against the ministry of the doctrine I'm teaching, which I've learned through the Spirit and Paul Yahweh Bashimashai, through his prophets, who are the elders and Paul's great millstone, if you have a problem with the doctrine and ministry, stay off of my channel. I'm not telling you to come on my channel. You clicking with your laptop on my shit. You're clicking onto your Android cell phone or your, your Android cell phone or your fucking whatever phone you type of phone you got. Right, your iPhone or whatever to look on my video. You coming on my channel. I'm not telling you to come on my channel. Stay off my channel. You got a problem with the ministry? Stay off of my channel. Wisdom of Solomon uh, 7 and 1. This is King Solomon, one of the wisest prophets of all. Right? One of the wisest prophets of all. This is Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 1. Listen to this again because it's, it's not clicking through your, through your brain cells. 
This is Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 1. I myself also am a mortal man. Mortal man, right? Mortal means death. All right? We can die in these bodies. We're mortal. It says mortal man, like to all, like to all. It says, and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. Talking about Adam. Solomon, King Solomon was talking about Adam, which is true. We all came from Adam. Verse 2, it says, it says, and in my mother's womb, see, he, this is when he's talking about how he was, how he was born. Every single man of the earth was born the same exact way through sex of a man and a woman having sex. That's how children are barren. Do you agree with that? Do you fucking agree with that? Common sense. It says in, in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of 10 months. A woman is pregnant. A woman, according to the scripture, is actually pregnant for 10 months, not nine. Being compacted in blood of the seed of man. And we went into the meaning of that word seed, right? We went into the meaning of that word seed. It's like it's not clicking through your fucking brains out there. Seed. Right? A man's semen. Right? Right here. Go on Google. You don't believe what I'm saying? Google. Google it. Google, 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 Google it. Google it. It says, and the pleasure that came with sleep. Talking about sex. All right, his mother had sex with his father and he was born. Every single one of us had the same birth. We were all born through the seed of a man. A man lied with our mothers and sh that woman got pregnant and we were born. Everybody was born the same exact way. There's no other way of, of birth. No woman can get pregnant without a man's semen. Common sense. Even if you, even if you say you, you go to the sperm bank. You're still using a man's semen to produce, to bear a child. It's common sense. It's common sense. But the original way of it is sex. I'm just being as simple as I can because you got people out there that's, that still, they love, they got, they're not understanding. It's going right over their head. They're not understanding that the virgin birth is unbiblical. There's no fucking virgin birth. Y'all believe in that shit? Stay the fuck away from me. Verse three, it says, and when I was born, see, this is King Solomon speaking. I drew in the common air because when you first come out of your mother's womb, the baby comes out of the mother's womb. He starts crying, right? It says, and fell upon the earth, which is of like nature. And the first voice which I uttered was crying as all others do. Because every baby, when they born, they come out of their mother's womb, they cry, right? Because they take in that first breath of air. Common sense. Listen, listen, listen. Verse four. It says, I was nursed in swaddling clothes, and that was, it says, and I was nursed with swaddling clothes, and that w and that with cares. So like if verse 5, now this is the main purpose of what I'm talking about. Right here, this is the main purpose on what I'm talking about. Listen to this right here, because you're saying there's no sex, you quote Luke, some type of scripture of Luke. Listen, this is... This is wisdom of Solomon seven and five. This is how I know you didn't you didn't you didn't tune into my lesson. You didn't you didn't play the video and fully go through the video to get the understanding. You just seen my video and just immediately comment. You guys gotta stop fucking doing that. Listen, listen, play the video, listen, listen to the scriptures I bring out. Then you'll be like, oh, okay. But when you just see my title and then you just up and just put your point up there, what you think, you're fucking off of that because you're not you're not you're not listening. Verse, this is Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 5. For there is no king, no king, including the Messiah, no king, right? It's talking about the, the Messiah as well fits in with this precept. Starting from Yahweh Shai. No king. It says, for there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. That includes the Messiah. He was not born differently from everybody else. He was born the same way as I, as I was born, you was born. Your mother was born, your father was born, your uncle was born, your sister was born, your nieces and nephews was born. If you a grandparent, how your grandkids was born, how everybody on the earth was born, the Messiah was born the same exact way. If you cannot understand that shit, that's on you. It's in the scriptures. Let's read that again. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 5. For there is no king, no king, that includes the Messiah. There is no king that had it says that had any other beginning of birth. There is no different way how somebody else was born. The Messiah was born the same way as all of, all of how all of us was born. He was not born differently. 
You gotta use your fucking brain out there. That 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 virgin birth shit is is off and it's false doctrine. That's that's not what the scriptures are saying. Verse six, that doctrine, the virgin birth doctrine, that goes back to the Roman Catholic Church. They made that shit up. That's false doctrine. Just like the Trinity. The Trinity goes back to ancient Egypt. There's no Trinity. The Messiah and the only begotten Son are two separate entities. But the but but the Roman Catholic Church, they use the Egypt, the uh, Holy Egypt Trinity. You can look it up. Put in Holy. Uh, Holy Egypt Trinity. Really look that shit up. That shit is Tammuz and all that shit. That's false doctrine. Just giving you an example. The virgin birth and the Trinity is false doctrine. You can look that up. Look it up if you don't believe what I'm saying. You don't have to believe what I'm saying. Look it up. Look it up. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 6. For all men, listen, for all men have one entrance on, in, onto life. One men. One man. Right? It says, for all men have one entrance onto life. All men. All men. So, how we're born? We're born through our through the sea line of our father. Right? Our father sleeps with our mother and, we, and she bared us. We were born. We were born through the seed of our father. All right? Common sense. It says, and the like, and the like going out, meaning you die. So when you die, your body goes back to the dust and your spirit goes back to the Lord. That's that's the order set up. There's no other way to begin a birth. So let's read this again. Romans 1 and 3. This is the simplest I can give it to you. If you still don't get that shit, that's on y'all. That's not on me. Because the Lord, is, the scriptures say, natural man cannot receive it, the spirit of the Lord. You're not going to get the understanding. It's, it's not meant for you to get it. But I'm telling you, if you reject that belief in that Trinity doctrine or you reject that belief in that virgin birth, you're going to be fucking destroyed because that's false doctrine. Yeah, if you believe in the virgin birth and you believe in the fucking Trinity, you're going to be destroyed. That shit is going to cause you to be destroyed. That's false doctrine. That's false doctrine. Romans 1 and 3 concerning his son, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, right? Our Lord, talking about the Messiah, which was made of the seed of David. According to the flesh, we went into the meeting of seed. According to the flesh, he came in the flesh, right? And he was born. How was he born? He was born, which I'm going to get right now. How the Messiah was born? He was born through the seed of a man, a man's sperm, semen, a man's semen. See, semen right there. Let me get it big for you guys. Sperm. If I want to be more more accurate with it for you. Because it's like it's not going through your fucking brains, man. Sperm. Semen. You don't know what semen is? Look it up. Look it up. Semen. Semen, 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 semen. A male's reproductive fluid. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. A man's semen. So I'm not going to keep going back and forth with y'all. If you don't understand it, if you're not doing works, and you're not in a ministry, and you believe in the virgin birth or the trinity, stay the fuck off of my channel, please. Because your scriptures that y'all posting is all in void because you don't even know what the fuck you're posting. You guys are just posting shit. You don't even know what the fuck. You guys don't even understand the scripture. You just posting scriptures, no sex. You believe in fallen angels? You believe in that bugged out shit? Fallen angels slept with women and they got became giants? You guys got to stay the fuck away from them bugged out book of Enoch's and all that shit. That shit will fuck your ass up. So if you don't have an understanding with that, that's on y'all. But you guys out there with you Jake's out, you Jake men out there with no street ministry, you guys are not doing no lessons, you guys are not pushing the gospel, you guys are just sitting on the internet flapping your fucking gums and talking all this shit, shut the fuck up. Stay off my channel and shut the fuck up out there. So little ones, that's is that a fine? So next time I say, Shalom. It's getting ridiculous. You guys out there that's not teaching, shut the fuck up. Shalom.